Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Monday, June. No, it's actually July. It's July. And this is another update of my Sweat It to Shred It challenge that I've been updating you guys on. So this is my week four. I'm going into week five. So far, I I really am loving the challenge and you guys will see everything when I put all the videos together and stuff, but this is just kind of an intro. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm doing a series for Sweat It to Shred It of just like how I'm feeling throughout the workouts and week to week and like if I feel like I'm making progress and stuff. So um, I just want to fill you guys in a little bit. The workouts, they're really good for the most part. There's some of them that challenge me a lot more than others. You'll see in my video. Energy levels, really good. I have not weighed myself yet because I've been trying to more focus on not weighing myself and just kind of going off how I feel about my body and not really trying to stress out about the scale because I get way too obsessed with it and it's just like it gets to be way too much but I, I notice little things with my own body personally and I feel like that has a lot to do with the food that I'm eating. So when I'm doing these types of workouts that are in Sweat It To Shred It, I feel like my nutrition is more focused on eating whole foods because I don't like to feel sluggish or lethargic when I'm really pushing myself doing these workouts. I, it's like pushing me to eat whole foods and more whole foods. and. I've been really, really trying to not cheat or eat bad foods or too much processed foods and I feel like I've done a pretty good job with that. I say if I crave something sweet, I'll make a banana, fruit, cacao smoothie or I'll eat trail mix that has like little chocolates in it and like dried fruit and stuff so that helps or and I've been eating two bananas a day and more fruit than I ever have been and I feel like as long as I'm not eating junk food, candy, and cake, and all that bad stuff that I usually would eat. I feel like I'm not gonna like die if I have extra carbs from the bananas and stuff. And plus I'm trying to fuel myself through the workouts that I'm doing. And I am rambling again, but I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. So here is the video part of week four. All right, it is week four now and oh god i'm kind of scared because i just read this in one of the workouts this ab kicks and i've attempted these before once by watching one of sarah's videos and i don't even know if i can do it because it's actually really complicated i guess we'll see what happens today is the first day of week four for me and i'm feeling good i said it in my last video i did go out of town last weekend or this past weekend so i kind of was out of my normal routine with eating and stuff but I'm not gonna let it bring me down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna get started and actually I'm gonna stretch a lot before I do start this workout because I'm like super just tight and I just don't feel like, you know, pulling any muscles or anything. sweating I just came here to cool down but I'm gonna stretch a little bit definitely a harder workout because one like I said I wasn't like on point this week with my with this weekend with my diet it's definitely a hard workout the ab kicks the second one <laughs> the second workout that I was like scared to do yeah those killed me was sweating so much Right now I'm not sweating that much because a lot of the stuff that I was doing was like more burning. Day one of week four, success. Wow, I can't believe it's already week four. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go stretch and cool down. I'll see you guys. I think right now, I, cause I'm in the gym right now, which is where I'm pretty much working out all the time, doing my workouts up here. So I think I'm gonna run a couple times around the track do that and then probably jump up a little bit and stretch a little and then I'll get started so enjoy
and done with toning power of week four. I'm gonna be completely honest. I liked the workout. It was a good workout, but it didn't really challenge me. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely like glistening a little bit. I don't know, I guess I'll see if I'm sore tomorrow, but to me the workout wasn't really hard. And usually toning power really burns and like I really like the workouts because it was like butt focused for this one but for the most part it wasn't really challenging for me so that's the only downside to that so I think honestly I think I'm just gonna go do cardio finish off my workout because yeah I'm not really I just feel like I didn't really get like that amazing of a, of a workout but I guess I'll see tomorrow if I'm sore or not I was kind of expecting more since like week four I was expecting like death workouts but i don't know all right i guess i'm gonna go finish working out all right what's up guys today is friday it's pretty much the end of the week of week four for sweat it to shred it um so today is actually another sweaty shredder which i'm super excited to do i feel good about this week the only thing was i've been struggling with my sweet tooth but i've been trying to find healthy alternatives so that i you know i'm not eating so many bad processed sweets. I'm trying my best to keep up with eating the good, good, good food, but still not deprive myself, if that makes sense. So back to my working out part. I'm gonna get going to the gym. It's it's almost six o'clock right now. Usually I work out a little earlier, but I ended up going on to running some errands and stuff. So it should be interesting because yesterday I I didn't know what I wanted to do at the gym, but I wanted to, I knew I wanted to lift because I haven't been, really been lifting that much with this program because it's mostly been body weight. I knew I wanted to lift, so I did like a whole body workout, but I kept it high intensity, so I was sweating the whole time and it was lighter weight stuff. I'll get going to my workout and I'll see you guys when I'm at the gym. <laughs> I love the sweaty shredders and the fact that there's two this week. It makes me very happy. A little piece of advice. I ate a banana right before I worked out, so I didn't wait long enough after I ate the banana because the whole time while I was working out, I kind of felt it like coming back up and that's not, that's not good. So a little piece of advice, make sure you wait at least an hour before you work out after you consume food. Probably just shouldn't have eaten anything to be honest. I feel really good. I was dying the whole time, especially there was wall sits and this time I'm glad because the last time I did wall sits it was in toning power and that makes you do it for a minute long and this was only 30 seconds so it was just the perfect amount of burning to where it made me die. That will be wrapping up week four. I never wear makeup when I work out so this is horrible. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go stretch a little more. And then eat. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little aspect of my workouts of week four of Sweat It to Shred It. I worked out Monday, Tuesday, whatever you guys saw in, that, in my videos, but then Saturday came and there was like a rest day scheduled. So it was like, just relax, and I was supposed to go whitewater rafting that day, but I didn't wake up, and it's a long story, so I didn't do that, but I did go to New York City for the day, and I was walking a lot and keeping it active and stuff, and I did go out to eat twice, but I ordered healthy, because every time we go to New York City, me and my friends, we always want to go get like certain types of food, because there's just so many options in New York City, and you have to try all these things, so my friends did get some unhealthy things, but I only took like a bite of it, which 
I think it's completely fine and it's not gonna stop you from making progress by taking one little bite and that's what I'm trying to teach myself is because I'm the type that's like all or nothing. If I have bad food, I just wanna eat it all but I'm trying to teach myself that you don't have to have it all. You can have balance and moderation and I'm trying to teach myself that so I feel like that really is changing for me and that's really what I wanted out of this challenge besides losing weight and stuff. So there was that on Saturday, so didn't work out Saturday, Sunday, I was like, I just, I felt like I wanted to go work out and I was planning on taking two rest days, so Saturday and Sunday, but I really just wanted to work out and it was a beautiful day outside, so I went outside and I did sprints with one of my friends, I'm pretty sore today, and then I went to the gym after that and I did just some abs and like light legs, just catching and just enjoying my time at the gym. I wasn't on a set schedule of what I wanted to do. I was just going and it was a good time at the gym and I'm actually sore today from abs. I like this a lot because it really fits into my schedule nicely and I can still do things that I like to do at the gym and I can still fit in those things and I don't have to stress out about it too much. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video like it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me and thank you for watching you guys and i will see you in my next video which will be week five update i can't believe it's like almost over it's weird all right later